Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, smash that subscribe button. Don't forget, all of you guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss when I post a video. And I try to post daily or every other day. Um, I'm currently, I just made it to my doctor's appointment, but it's not until 3.50, but I'm gonna go in there at 3.00. 05 because I have to drink this juice and then wait an hour and then get my blood taken. I did it in the beginning of my pregnancy. I really don't know why I'm doing it again, but the last time I was here, my doctor told me that's just part of the process. Like basically what you do in the beginning, you're going to do towards the end of your pregnancy. I'm 28 weeks and maybe four or five days. So I have like 11 and two days. 11 weeks and two days left before I become an actual mom. I deliver my baby. I'm not really nervous right now. Like, I don't really think about the labor. I don't get, I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not nervous or anything about having a baby, but I know when it get closer to the time, I'm going to be a nervous wreck. Like, I just know it because, come on, I'm like, that's a scary, it's kind of scary. I be watching a lot of labor videos it looked pretty scary it look up it looks pretty painful i'm not gonna lie but as of right now like i'm super calm and everything y'all these last two days i have been having a little morning sickness i don't even know if you could tell but i'm really really exhausted i'm so tired i want to go home and get straight into bed and go to sleep um i mean this morning sickness it hits me like in the a.m so maybe like around four or five o'clock in the morning and that's when I feel the most nauseous and I gotta wake up and I can't sleep. I try to eat and I still feel nauseous. I have not vomited, so that's a good thing. I haven't had morning sickness my whole pregnancy, so to me it's really weird that it's happening now. I'm gonna talk to my doctor about it because it's just so weird. I never had it. And now all of a sudden I'm starting to feel this sickness that I never felt before. Um, another thing is my baby has been super active. I think what's going on is he's turning because you know, in the beginning of your pregnancy, the baby head is up. And then towards the end of the pregnancy, when you're almost about to go into labor, his head is down to come out of your cookie. So I think that's what he, he's been doing because he's been moving nonstop. Like I promise you, this little boy has not been to sleep yet he's no he just kicked me he has not been to sleep yet he's been moving non-stop and it, it's not like the normal kicks it's just like a lot of movement it's so much movement that you could see like a lump every like it's just so much going on and i think he's turning that's what i think is going on he's turning and also i've been cramping i have not been cramping a lot because I haven't cramped my whole pregnancy, but I recently started cramping. And when I Googled it, it says Braston Hicks contractions. I know you shouldn't Google stuff, you know, they say don't Google, but I Google everything. And from what it looks like, I think I've been going through the Braxton Hicks contractions. And if you guys don't know what it is, it's like kind of contractions. Like basically my body is preparing to go into labor for when it's time. All of this stuff I'm talking to you guys about, I'm about to go in there and talk to my doctor about all of this because all of these symptoms are new for me. The morning sickness, the nonstop movement, and the the contractions, the cramping. It's all new for me. I'm, I'm so tired. Like, I'm exhausted. Like, he keeps me up in the a.m. And then it's like once the sun come out, it's hard for me to go to sleep. Like I have to be, I have to get up for a little bit and then I can go back to sleep. But it's like, I'll wake up, I'm nauseous. I try to eat, that don't help. Still nauseous when I lay down. It's like, I feel even more nauseous cause he's just doing the most movement. He been kicking me in my ribs. This little boy, and then he he's he's really low. Like, he's really, really low. Everybody could tell I'm having a boy because he's been low my whole pregnancy. He's so low that I don't be knowing if I have to urine or if he's kicking me. 
in my bladder. Like, I can't tell. So, either way I go, I just get up and go to the bathroom anyway. But I can't tell. Like, he's so low. I've been going to the bathroom nonstop almost every 10 minutes. It's, it's wild. Like, I can tell it's getting real. It's getting real. But, yeah, I'm just a little tired. So, after the doctors, I'm going to go eat. And then I'm going to get me some sleep. And I'm trying to write down the times that he is up during the a.m. So I can know, like, to see if there's a pattern. To see, like, oh, okay, well, I know I'm going to be up at this time. I'm going to be at this, up at this time. So that way I can go ahead and get my body adjusted to it. But y'all know I work overnight. So I'm kind of used to being up overnight already. But I still be tired. But I'm going to go ahead and go into this doctor's office. And I'm going to tune back in once I get in there. Before I pull off, um, I want to show you guys what my doctor's office just gave me. I just got out of the doctor's office. Woo! I was in there for, shit, two hours. But y'all know, so the test I had to do is called a glucose test. I did it in the beginning of my pregnancy, and then I just did it again. But my doctor gave me this bag. I want to see if there was something in this bag. It is. So they gave me this bag, y'all. And inside the bag, oh my God, it's so nice, is a blanket. I'm about to cry. This is so freaking cute. It's a blanket. I'm gonna go home and wash it. Well, I still have to get like um, baby washing powder. I haven't washed the clothes for the baby yet, but cause I still have two and a half months. So they gave me a blanket. They gave me, oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. They gave me this. I don't even know what it is. It's like a, I'm having a boy. It's like a dress, but not a dress. I don't know what to call this because I'm new at being a mom. It's so cute. Look at the little animals. So this print is basically everywhere. It came with some fluffy socks. I guess this is for when I go to the hospital. And I am going to carry this to the hospital. Honestly, you guys, I did, have, I did pick out some stuff for the baby that I was going to take to the hospital for the baby to wear. But to be honest, I think I'm just going to carry what they give me, plus some extra clothes, of course. But this is so cute. And then it comes with a little letter. And it says, this print is everywhere. And it's so freaking cute because I think I'm going to do his room, an animal thing, like dinosaurs and stuff. So this is really cool. It just says, congratulations on your new baby. We're so honored you chose Kaiser Permanente to join you for this important milestone. Sending you our best wishes to you and your little one. For many more milestones to come, sincerely your Kaiser care team. So freaking sweet. I didn't even know that was in the bag. So I'm gonna put this stuff back in the bag because I'm about to go to my parents' house. My um, dad is giving, he bought me some food. <laughs> Well, he bought everybody some food, but I always feel special when my dad gets me food. Like, he calls and be like, what you want to eat? I'm going here, and I just think it's, like, the sweetest. So, they also gave me this box, and I couldn't wait. I opened it up while I was in the doctor's office, but I'm about to open it up again. Oh, and by the way, it just says, Born to Thrive. And inside the box is a letter, and also another little 
what is this this is so cute i love this print i'm going to take this to the hospital this is going to be the outfit my son is going to wear so it comes with another one of those i don't i don't know what this is it's something similar to a onesie but it doesn't have the legs it's like open down here so I got another one of these, which is really cool because I'm gonna take both of them to the hospital with me. Or I might just take one to the hospital and then one for the house when we first get back to the house. And then it comes with this burping cloth. Oh, this is just so freaking cute, you guys. Look at the print. Might be upside down. It's just so freaking cute. I didn't. I have to put these on my registry. I didn't even think to put these on my registry. It's all new to me. This is just so sweet. Um, my doctor's appointment went really good. My baby heartbeat sounds amazing. As always, I'm healthy. The baby is growing. I'm getting bigger, gaining a little weight. I'm going to put this plastic over here. I need some Carmex but I'm about to pull off because it's about to rain and I'm trying to make it to see my family. But, um, so I did get some blood drawn, y'all. And I swear they used a different needle this time because it hurt. Usually, I have hella tattoos, y'all. Hella tattoos. And I can take the pain. Like, it really doesn't bother me like that. And I could have sworn when I did get my blood drawn the last time it wasn't that big of a needle because for some reason it actually hurt like when he was doing it it actually hurt even when he took the needle out it hurt like it's still sore and that has never happened it's never been like that before i think he used the bigger needle and i told him i was like that hurt he was like it hurt i said yeah i said this is a bigger needle it might be compared to the other needle. Cause usually like the needle they use, oh, my seatbelt. Usually the needle they use, like after they're done drawing my blood, it's like this button they'll press and it'll snap out. But this needle didn't snap out. He had to pull it out, so that's why. And it was huge. I don't know y'all, it just hurt this time. But, so I did that. Also y'all, I love my doctor. So I told y'all in one of my other videos that I try not to go to the same doctor every time I go to my appointments because you never know who is going to deliver your baby. You don't know if it's going to be the midwife or you don't know if it's going to be the doctor or you don't even know which doctor it's going to be because we don't know their schedule. That's that's the, You can't schedule them. I mean, you might can schedule them to do your delivery, but if they're not on the schedule, if they're not on call, then they're not going to be the one to deliver your baby. So I always get different people like either I get a different doctor or I get a different midwife when I go to my doctor visits because I just don't want to get comfortable with someone and then they're not even there to deliver my baby and it's like oh where is so-and-so like I thought they were gonna be there and then they be like oh they weren't on call you know what I mean so I just try to you know alternate them but I did see the same doctor this time from last time and I loved him it is a man I normally like to see women doctors because if you're new to my channel I used to be a stripper and I dealt with so many men and just you know being a stripper you know you're very you show you show a lot you know you show a lot so I just felt more comfortable with women because I'm just I've dealt with men so much you know but this one doc I love him I tried him for the first time last time I came and I fell in love with him amazing doctor love his energy so caring very supportive um we talk we just talk like we talk about everything we talk about my mental health we talk about the baby we just talk about everything like he makes me feel like he really cares for me and he's just a, a amazing person overall so i scheduled for to see him again this time and still same energy love him like i love him i really hope he can deliver my baby that would be amazing but just an amazing doctor like for real honestly like just an amazing person in general so the time after these because now i go to the doctor every two weeks now because i'm 28 weeks i'm about to be 29 weeks in two days 
So I go to the doctor every two weeks and my next appointment was supposed to be with somebody else. And then the appointment after that, cause I went ahead and just scheduled hella appointments cause they began booked up. A lot of girls are pregnant. A lot of girls are having their babies this year. Girls are just having babies back to back to back to back to back. So they're really booked up like this. It's like another baby boom basically. And um, he just like, I guess he just liked me so much. Like when he see me, he was like, oh, I like that outfit. Or, you know, like we just, we, we really just connect. And he was like, who you seeing next when you come back? And I was like, I'm supposed to be saying, I don't know, but I know it wasn't him. So he told the nurse to come in there. He was like, uh-uh, take whoever she's supposed to be seeing. Her next two visits, schedule, schedule her for me. And I think he might be booked up. And she was trying to tell him, like, you're booked up. He was like, nah, schedule her in there. Trust me, schedule her in there. I want her to come back. I want to see her. Schedule her for me. Like, whoever she's here to see, take them out put her in for me she needs to see me and i like that like i really like that because that just made me feel even better like okay like i actually have a doctor that care he want to see me our energy just connect it's just you know real good vibes you know and i really like the how he did that and then when she was doing it he even came back to check to make sure she did it he came back in the room like did you do it did you did you take her off to see whoever she was seeing to see me and the doctor was like yeah i got i mean the nurse was like yep i did it i did it was okay good and he was just making sure okay car you need to slow the fuck down he was just making sure i was straight make sure i'm okay make sure i got everything i mean like we talk about the baby i just really like him i really do and i really pray he can deliver my baby because i feel like with his energy, I'm going to be, I'm, I already know I'm going to be nervous and overwhelmed, but just with his energy and just the way he talks to me and care for me, I feel like I would do really good with going into labor, like handling my contractions. You know, I just feel like I would, I would be in good spirits, you know, with him and any other doctor, don't get me wrong. All the other doctors and midwives, I love them. That's why I was alternating them. I like that. And yeah, so we talked about everything I, my lips are dry and everything that i'm going through that i'm feeling is normal so that's a good thing and i'm just y'all it's just getting close to the time i'm going to the doctor every two weeks now it's just getting real it's just it's getting real like i'm about to be a fucking mom do i look like a mom because i'm a mother okay <laughs> but all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and close out this video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn your notification bells on so you don't miss a video when I upload. Some videos I like to talk about topics. I like to talk about just anything. Like whatever pops up on my mind, I like to talk about it. I like to discuss it. So you don't want to miss out on these juicy topics. I don't hold back. I don't have a filter. I'm very authentic and transparent. And how I feel is how I feel. And however you may feel is how you feel. But you know... My comments are open for discussion because I do like to engage and get different perspectives from different people. So it's your choice, but the subscribe button is right there. It's just one click away. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. And I am feeling way better, y'all. Like, I don't know what it is. I did drink that drink and that drink that they gave me is supposed to be like some type of sugary drink, but not like harmful sugary that can harm the baby but they just got to make sure like i don't have bitch, let me over. make sure i don't have like diabetes or anything so maybe that's what just gave me all of this energy because i'm super hype and it tastes like a sprite soda but i do feel way better i don't know why or how but that's just part of pregnancy you just never know what you're gonna get and i'm feeling real good and it could be because i know i'm about to go eat so you never know, but I'm going to see you guys in the next video.